Welcome, everyone. Um, as I was saying, and probably none of you got a chance to hear me, we are being televised and taped this evening, so it would be really uh, conducive to good communication if you would all uh, seek out a microphone w uh, when you wish to address the body. We have a portable one here that we'll chase you around with, and there's also one in the center of, of the auditorium. Thank you. We can't hear you. Ooh. They're working on it. That was better. How's that? That's it? Talk real loud. I'm good at that. Everyone is clear that we're going to be using a microphone tonight. When you do get the floor to speak, please uh, seek one out so that um, the people who are recording this and televising it can, uh, can hear you. Anyway, welcome to town meeting for 2016. If the clerk could read the return of the warrant. Franklin SS, pursuant to the within warrant, I have notified and warned the inhabitants of the town of Waitley by a posting attested copies of the same at the town offices, town hall, post office, and S. S. White Dickinson Library in said town seven days at least before the date of the meeting as within directed. Edwin M. Zanieski, and it was posted on April 15, 2016. Thank you, Lynn. Jonathan? Mr. Moderator, before we begin, I'd like to just make a quick comment about this board's deep appreciation um, for one specific individual and then a whole lot of individuals. There are town reports for people to pick up at their leisure somewhere, maybe out front. Um, the town report this year was, as some probably know or most probably know, was dedicated this year to Bill Smith. Um, when, I, when I thought about When I found out that Bill was retiring, it was, it was, there was just no question who this report should, should get dedicated to. Um, I'm thrilled to still see him on the school board, um, but this town really does owe a deep debt of gratitude to Bill for all his years of service. Um, and so I appreciate the applause that he got. But Bill is also, an example of the hard work that all of our town employees give to this town on a daily basis. Um, the last year in Waitley has been one not without challenges and the people who work for this town go to work every day and they're not working for the highest pay and they're not working with the, the most attaboys and pats on the back on a regular basis. And sometimes their work goes without anyone noticing until something, some, and sometimes it happens, goes wrong. Uh, and then everybody notices. But we are very fortunate in this town to have a bunch of town employees uh, who give everything they've got to this town. And, and I think that Bill has set a good example for them. I, I really like to believe that, but I think our town employees deserve that same uh, round of applause. <laughs> With that being said, um, I will stop dribbling and move that the town vote to accept the annual reports of the officers of the town and to hear any other reports of the boards and committees. Article 1 has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? That being the case, I will ask for a sh uh, show of those in favor by waving their little blue tags. And opposed? Motion is carried. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the town treasurer with the approval of the select board to borrow money from time to time in anticipation of the general of the revenue of the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2016, in accordance with the provisions of General Laws Chapter 44, Section 4, and to renew any note or notes as may be given for a period of less than one year in accordance with the provisions 
of General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 17. Second. Questions or discussion on Article 2? <clears throat> Those in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the town treasurer with the approval of the select board to enter into compensating balance agreements with banking institutions having their principal offices in the Commonwealth during fiscal year 2017 as permitted by General Laws Chapter 44, Section 53F. Second. Discussion on Article 3. Those in favor? Those opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to apply for, accept, and expend any federal, state, or private grant monies on behalf of the town and authorize the town treasurer with the approval of the select board to borrow in anticipation of reimbursement. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion, questions? Those in favor? Opposed? Passed. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize revolving funds for certain town departments under General Laws Chapter 44, Section 53E and a half for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2016. Second. Discussion. Those in favor? And those opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to fix the salaries or compensation of the elected officers of the town for fiscal year 2017 as follows. Uh, this is fiscal 17 with a 2% COLA. Moderator, $120.57. You want me to read them all? No. Uh, select one. They're, they're all listed here. Anyone desire them to be read? Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion or questions? Those in favor? Opposed? Passed. from the Water Department Enterprise Fund to finance the operation of the Water Department for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2016. Second. Any discussion, questions for Wayne? Those in favor? Opposed? Passed. Mr. Moderator, we have a short presentation from the Finance Committee. Is this on? Is this on? Okay. Yeah, I got to see the screen. Um, can you see that? Is that vi <laughs> uh oh? Is it coming along? Now it's getting better. Back here. Is this good? Okay. Um, let's start. The finance committee would like to um, give a short presentation as to the um, the trends in town and where we're going from here on out. Uh, first of all, Whaley's still a very good place to live in this day and age, despite all you hear. Um, in 2017, we will be maintaining and improving all services. We have new town offices. We have a new fire truck, highway vehicles, and police. 
So the guys will be getting around very well. Um, we have a cultural initiative that is um, second to none with the town hall. And we also have, as you know, a regional ambulance service. And to underscore all of this, we have a reduced tax rate with all of this. So I think Waitley is a good place to live. Uh, the total budget, if you look here at a six year view, we go from 2012 on your left to 2017 here on your right. Um, you can see where, in a, from a total budget perspective, uh, 2017 is up a little. And we'll take a closer look as to what's behind that. If we take a look at the schools themselves, um, Smith Volk, we don't have any students there this year, so we don't have any expenses. Uh, Franklin Tech has come down just a little. The regional high school down just a little. And Waitley Elementary got a little bit of a pop. Okay, it's starting to absorb, not starting, has absorbed um, most of our school dollars for quite some time. And we'll get back to Frontier in a little bit. Town government adding to the overall budget. But as you can see, between fiscal year 16 and fiscal year 17, um, what jumps out, I think, with everybody is the far right insurance and benefits still are driving a lot of these expenses. There's not a whole lot we can do about it. Uh, we're part of a cooperative, and um, if you want to have good people and you want to have services in town, you have to provide these. Um, here's our tax rate. A tax rate, if you look at going left to right, and you can see fiscal year 16 at, at 1601, that was prior to the reevaluation. Okay, uh, but as we can see right now, we're at 1535. There will be another reval, and we expect that to drop again, but we don't know what that is at this point. So it's a very nice trend here in terms of the taxation. Again, our tax facts are our estimated tax rate for reevaluation of 1535. We're still, still dealing with about a thousand taxable parcels of land. Um, the value of a single single family home in town has dropped to about four thousand dollars to two seventy and change. Um, so, <clears throat> even though the trend is there and we're coming down, the total that five million and change to be absorbed by those one thousand parcels of land is a task. As we said last year, whatever articles are on the budget, we wanted to give you a picture of what they would cost your pocketbook <coughs> individually. And here we have articles 9 through 14, but I want to just say that if you look at 10 through 14, they're asterisks and they will not affect property taxes because they're being paid with free cash. Well, that's a big reason why we can have so many of the services, and yet we can still see a reduced tax rate. <laughs> okay, um, just to sort of head to uh, wind things up. Expenses that keep me up at night. Um, this is looking in the future. This is. These are the storm clouds, if you will. First one, Frontier Regional High School and the charter school interaction. Um, Frontier is losing their shirt because of the charter school dollars coming out and not enough coming back in. And the more I look at it, what's obvious to me is another government idea gone awry but um, it kind of looks like we're going to have to pay for two schools all at the same time. And I'm not quite sure why. Um, I have an idea, but we'll leave it there. Town hall restoration. Um, 
I just want to say that um, it's, um, I think it'd be a boon to the town. I think it'd be one of the best public service initiatives that we could get our hands around if it's done right. And I just want to tell you right now that the, as you can probably see, um, the Finance Committee made a decision not to recommend the article for the 84000 change to support plants. The reason we, we didn't recommend that chiefly is that no one came and presented it to us. Now you've got to think about this. We're a finance committee. If you want money from the town, we have to vet that process. So if you think you can only send a piece of paper in asking for money, there's nobody up there that's going to say yes. So we did not have a pre presentation, so we couldn't tell exactly how that money was going to be spent and how open-ended it was going to be. Because we're also afraid, is this number three? Is this a third time around that we are going to be doling out cash for plants? I don't think it is, but that's what we thought at that point in time. So um, those two, and then finally, the needed changes to the budget process. And that, from our perspective, is we need more time to push back. Because the budget process timeline gets very condensed. After January, February, bang, bang, bang. All of a sudden it's March, all of a sudden we're here. All of a sudden the warrant has to be done. And we're all gonna work together to try to make sure that the Finance Committee has adequate time once everything's collected to be able to compare it to tax rate and other parameters so that we can, if we have to, push back on all departments and all expenses. Um, this is, this hit me like, like a brick when I read this. Okay. And I'll read it out loud. Uh, this is from the Massachusetts Finance Committee Handbook. A board of selectmen in a town with an elected or appointed finance committee has no statutory role in the preparation submission of the annual budget unless it is expressly given a role by bylaw. If not, the finance committee is responsible for preparing, submitting, and distributing the budget under general law. And you can read that. That's kind of a daunting phrase. It's daunting because it underscores the need for us to be able to work with all the budgets, all the individuals submitting a budget, and closely with the select board, because we can't do this ourselves. And what we found this year is that we had about 50, take away the request for, eight, for the 85,000 uh, for the plans, but we had, about, we had over $50,000 in requests that had no backup to them. And when you looked at it, that's been going on for years. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a lot to, it's a lot to do in a short amount of time, and the onus really is on the Finance Committee, and we would be really appreciative if everyone could fill out the forms, fill them out the right way, get them into mock, so that we could do this the right way here. And last, this is from the Guide to Financial Management for Massachusetts Town Officials. The Finance Committee is the official watchdog for a town. So as a town, as a voter, if I was to see that something came up that was not vetted by the Finance Committee, I wouldn't vote for it. I wouldn't vote for it because you don't have the time as citizens, as voters, as taxpayers, you don't have the time to go to town hall and go through all this stuff. You need the finance committee to do that. And I think we've got a pretty good one. Lane Cooper, Bob Feidenkevitz, Dan Kennedy, Jim Kirkendall, Tom Mahan, Joe Zawinski. I want to thank these people for doing a great job.
in case you um, <clears throat> aren't aware that, that that's Paul Antea, the chair of the Finance Committee. I apologize for not having introduced him properly um, as he began his presentation. Um, Paul, I believe you have a motion to make. We do. Where is it? Oh, okay. Article 8. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to act and report of the Finance Committee for the fiscal year 2017 budget and to raise and appropriate money for the operation of the town's departments and the payment of debt service and all other necessary and proper expenses for the year. Please note Water Department Enterprise Fund costs are appropriated Article 7. Uh, proposed fiscal year 2017 budget. The Finance Committee recommends that the amount shown in the column captured um, FY17 Finance Committee recommendations with water removed be raised, appropriated, or transferred from available funds for FY17, department operating purposes, debt service, and other town expenses. Second. Say it. Is there any discussion or questions regarding the individual budget submissions? That being the case, I'll ask for a show of hands in favor. And those opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote to borrow the sum of $145,000 for the purchase of a dump truck for the highway department as part of the 2017 capital improvement plan and authorize the treasurer with the approval of the select board to issue any bonds or notes that may be necessary for that purpose as authorized by General Laws Chapter 44, Section 7, 9, or any other general or special law for a period not to exceed three years. Second. Second. Questions or discussion on Article 9? As this requires a two-thirds vote, I will ask Mr. Halla and Mr. Williams to get a count for me, please. Those in favor? Keep those flags waving, please. Did you count yourself? Yes, Already, just checking. Count us? Yes, you got the phone. <laughs> Opposed? I dare say we have two thirds voting in favor. 108 yes, no, zero. <laughs> Passed. Uh, Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $13,000 for paving the highway department lot to the salt shed. Second. Discussion or questions? Yes, I'd like to make an amendment to Article 10 to read as follows. I move that the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $13,000 for paving the highway department lot to the salt shed and for repairs to the town highway garage building. Discussion, questions regarding the amendment. You're clear what Fred is asking is that we add uh, the phrase and for repairs to the town highway garage building to the article. Structural, the cement blocks, Excuse me. The doorways, mean? entrances. You guys explain the Finance Committee has a question. Uh, for one, it's the, uh, the, the foundation of the building is deteriorating, and especially the foundation near the, near the, the pavement, near the, the bottom of the blocks, the water is seeping in. They're only going to last so long before columns start falling down that are supporting the building. One has already been replaced. Uh, there's one section where there's cracks over the door. Uh, the blocks either need to be uh, removed and, and replaced or re-cocked, uh, re re uh, yeah, repointed, I guess. Uh, there's trim around the doors that's missing. You're getting weather and, and other elements entering the building. Uh, and, and also the, 
the general upkeep of the building. The, the paint is peeling off the building. It needs to be uh, maintained and uh, repainted again. Uh, um, can you say um, how is that going to cost the same as paving the lot? It's There's things like this. It's the same amount of money, but you're asking for a lot more to happen with the same amount of money. Well, no, this would be the, the first part, the paving of the lot would be done first. In conjunction, there's another article where the, the two are going to be done done simultaneously. Any money left over from the paving is going to go to repair the building. That's basically the the reason for this amendment is to use some of that money that's not spent on paving that is available would make it available to repair the building. It's it's time for things need to be repaired on the building. We can't keep putting off things and repairs until it's it's too late and it gets too expensive to repair. Joe? Uh, Fred, I, I don't dispute that, but I would assume that when we asked for $13,000 for the repaving of this, is that we knew what it was going to cost to repave it. If there is going to be extra funds, I guess I would ask that question, why there's going to be extra funds if we knew that it was going to take $13,000 to pave this area. I don't dispute anything about the building itself that needs to be done, but when, when, we, when we ask to have $13,000 for a project, I'm making an assumption here, is that we went out and we, got, we, we knew how much it was going to cost to do that job and there wasn't going to be any slush um, associated with that. No, but let me, uh, since that time, I guess new information has, has come out about the cost of repaving, and I'm going to turn it over to Keith, who has, who has been looking at that and, and has some better information on it. To answer your, to answer your question, Joe, um, a couple of things involved in this. First of all, is this one working? Yeah. Yes. Okay. To answer your question to this, there's a lot of things associated. First of all, the paving to the salt shed was one phase of it. Also, further on somewhere in this article tonight, we have the other article that is in regards to the police station paving also. If, although if one component gets done and the other one didn't get done, then the cost per ton is going to be a more expensive item. If we combine the two of them together, then we'll get a better price. Another factor that I'm not sure if it will be utilized or can be done also is our annual paving that we do when we do our paving on the streets. If the contractor is willing to do that work at the highway department and the police station for the same price per ton that they normally would do out on the streets, then the cost would be less. So. Based on if I was to have a contractor just to come in and do what I am proposing from the highway department out to the salt shed, $13,000 is an accurate number. However, as I started, as a, just to clarify, if I add the police station in now, which because they're two separate projects, I can't guarantee that one was going to pass and the other one wasn't, or vice versa. So combining everything together and also if we can do it at the same time that a contractor comes in and mobilizes in the town to do everything all at once, we will get a better price. And yes, it will not cost the 13000 at that point in time. And so in talking with the select board afterwards, it was a, the idea came about instead of the money just sitting in this article and not being able to be utilized, that it would be a good idea to put some money back into the highway department to try to prolong its life, you know, usefulness and start to do some repairs to it. Joe? Uh, what would you anticipate the savings being? And are we talking about, you know, $500? I mean, I, you do this stuff every, every day. So, you know, you combine these projects, I understand you know, the savings that you're going to achieve is what are you anticipating that savings being? Well, I think it needs to be reworded, though, to the I'm assuming there's money. I'm assuming he's coming back with an answer. Yeah, I think so. That's a good question. <clears throat> Mr. Moderator, may I ask a question? Indeed. I, I, I guess my, my question is that 
we have a capital planning process in town. And, and I'm with, with, with Joe. I, I don't see anything in this article that probably isn't exactly accurate about the, the state of the building. But again, we have a process that we go through for capital planning and other expenses. And it strikes me that the better way to do this is to, is to pass the original article. And again, these are appropriated monies. Just because it's appropriate doesn't mean it needs to be spent. If there's money left over from the paving, it's money left over from the paving. And then, because we're all very, we, we seem to have no problem scheduling special town meetings, that we put some numbers to what needs to be done, and perhaps this should be passed at a special town meeting as opposed to lumping this in to w without any 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 line item numbers in terms of what fixes need to be happening because maybe it's not enough no it, it, it's not enough to do everything that needs to be done but it's a start um you're right one of the things that could also be done is it could be left alone when whatever money is left in that account could then at like a special town meeting be voted to transfer at that point in time that's another option yes it is um this was just an idea that came about and I was and I was approached to ask me if I would support it and at this point in time I do support the aspect of rather than money the money just sitting there that it could go to the highway department building and make some improvements to the outside of the building yes I know it needs to be painted it's been I couldn't tell you the last time it's been painted and yes the paint is peeling in many places <clears throat> um, so e either way I understand different ways of looking at it, it could still be accomplished. Yeah, um, per, per, perhaps, uh, Fred, you could. I, I, I think something needs to, uh, uh, well, I guess I would like to see something something being done sooner than later. I guess we we'll keep pushing maintenance of the buildings off. Let's wait next year, let's get a budget, let's figure out what it's gonna cost. Well, another year, two years go by, you're gonna be in the winter time. You're not gonna do outside work in the winter time uh, yeah, it's, it's not critical that it be done today, but there's money available, and I, and I think it's, it's a start. It's not going to do the whole project, but it's at least a start. And I hear, you know, Keith is, is saying and willing to do some of this. Maybe it's investigative work to see what needs to be done on the foundation of the building. We're talking more than just paint. If you, next time you go transfer station, look at the building. Look at the foundation by, by the, the pavement. The blocks are falling apart, deteriorating. I mean, it, it could, they could last a year, they could last 20 years. We don't know, but we need to start and do something. Thank you, Fred. Ellen. How much money are we talking about, Gates? The question was how much money are we talking when about? You, when we add in the, the $13,000 that the, we're requesting in this article, and I believe the police department is proposing is ten thousand. So that was twenty three thousand dollars, and that is the the worst case scenario as far as um, a price per ton. Best case scenario, we probably could be possibly have five thousand dollars left in that. But again, it's a the thing. The biggest thing that I, I'm trying to explain is if the contractor that comes in to do my my road paving, that's where I get my best price because I'm putting down thousands of tons at that point in time. Compared to this job, is more like asking somebody to come in and, and do your parking, uh, just a small parking lot. It's, um, and I'm hoping that when it comes to that point, we can make them or ask them to do that and they will be willing to do that, which then I would have, you know, somewhere in the, probably in the $5,000 range left. Mr. Moderator. Thank you. Well, uh, could I offer a possible wording for both uh, uh, as an amendment to both article? Uh, um, unfortunately, I know we have an article on the. We have a primary an, an and a secondary motion already before the okay. body, so there cannot be a third added. I was just going to suggest that any funds left over may be directed towards maintenance of the uh, 
uh, mentioned facility, like uh, the highway garage for this, and then the police department well, for the other. I think that was sort of the uh, the implication. Intent. Right. Okay. Intent. Well, that's yeah. clearly yeah. the intent. It, that's it, the intent of my amendment. It, it it just strikes me that we're doing the highway department a disservice by doing it this way. We need by going to a special town meeting, we can truly assess what needs to, to happen, putting together a schedule for improving the maintenance on that building, and, and going through the appropriate processes that, that we set up as a town. I, the, the building needs work, but let's get a budget and pass a budget to fix the town, the, the, the town highway department rather than just saying whatever's left over, because we, cause, cause Keith's crew deserves more than that. Don? We have before us a secondary motion, um, an amendment to change the wording of Article 10. All those in favor of the amendment, those opposed to the amendment, the amendment is defeated. We will now move on to finalizing discussion of the primary motion which was the allocation of $13,000 for paving the highway department's lot to the salt shed. Is there discussion or questions? Therefore, all those in favor, those opposed, motion is passed. If then it's on his right. budget, though, it goes to general, goes to the general fund. Right. Okay. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $18,000 to purchase an emissions exhaust system for the fire department. Second. Questions or discussion? Right. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Mr. Moderator, move that the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $10,000 to complete repairs to the police department building by installing fencing, lighting, and completing the paving in the parking lot and walkway areas surrounding the building. Second. Discussion or questions regarding Article 12? Those in favor? Those opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $35,000 to replace a model year 2009 cruiser for the police department. Second. Discussion or questions? Those in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $15,500 for repairs to the roof and gutters and entrance improvements to the S.Y. Dickinson Library. Second. Questions or discussion on Article 14? All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Mr. Moderator, move the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $3,000 to purchase a storage shed for the Blue School Field located at 219 Christian Lane. Second. Thank you. Questions or discussion? All those in favor? And those opposed? Motion is carried. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from available funds, free cash, the sum of $6,000 to purchase and install padding at the Waitley Elementary School Gymnasium. Mr. Moderator, I'd like to add to that that this is a leverage against, or, not, or a leverage with um, towns that were raised by the... Uh, technically, we need to have a second before we... I apologize for that. Second. Uh, <laughs> move forward. Uh, this is a leverage on top of money that was also raised for this project by the... Uh, PTO um, to to further pad pad the gym uh, 
So it's a combination of PTO funds and the funds uh, hopefully voted on tonight that will better protect kids as they're using the, the, the gym. So it's a, it's a, it's a joint effort. Sort of matching gifts. Exactly. Any other questions or discussion? All those in favor? Those opposed? Motion is approved. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from water department retain earnings, free cash, the sum of $10,000 to complete the purchase of a pump house generator for the water department. Second. Questions or discussion? All those in favor? And those opposed? Carried. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from Water Department retain earnings, free cash, the sum of $5,000 for the replacement of the Water Department truck. Second. Question or discussion? Ellen. Where's the rest of the money coming from? <laughs> what, what are you getting for $5,000? We, <laughs> we put $5,000 a year away for seven years every year we put it away everyone heard that what year is this in the in the line two you know second year yeah. any discussion or questions all those in favor and opposed carry Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer from Water Department retain earnings, free cash, the sum of $15,000 for cleaning and waterproofing the Water Department storage tank. Second. Question, discussion? Those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Mr. Moderator, I move the town here and act pursuant to General Law Chapter 44B on the report of the Community Preservation Committee for the fiscal year 2017 Community Preservation Budget and vote to appropriate or reserve from the Community Preservation Fund a sum of money in the amounts recommended by the CPC for community for committee administrative expenses, community preservation projects, and other necessary and proper expenses for fiscal year beginning July 1st. 2016, including debt service for any approved community preservation project, with each of which each item be considered a separate appropriation. And the appropriations are administration expenses of $7,500, esti estimated revenues for historic reserve, 15000 Estimated revenues for community housing reserve, 15,000. Estimated revenues for open space reserve, 15,000. And estimated revenues for budget reserve of $97,500. Second. Is there any discussion, any questions for the CPC? All those in favor? And those opposed? <coughs> Motion carried. Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote pursuant to General Laws Chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer from Community Preservation Fund Open Space Reserve and the Community Preservation Fund Budget Reserve the sum of $16,000 as the town's match for a permanent agricultural preservation restriction on 17.6 acres of farmland located on the west side of Long Plain Road north of the Waitley Elementary School and shown on Assessor's Map 26 as Lot 24, currently owned by Ed and John Samorowski and Beverly and Donald Wilson. Upon such terms and conditions as the select board in consultation with the Ag Commission shall deem appropriate. Second. Discussion, questions? All those in favor? Those opposed? Motion is carried. 
Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote pursuant to General Law Chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer from Community Preservation Fund Historic Reserve, Historic Resources Reserve, and a Community Preservation Fund Budget Reserve, the sum of thirty thousand dollars for the preservation and repairs of compromised and deteriorating gravestones in town cemeteries identified in the 2013 master plan provided by the Gravestone, Gravestone Services of New England. Work to be done under the direction of the cemetery commissioners. Second. Question? Discussion? Those in favor? Opposed? The motion is passed. Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote pursuant to General Law Chapter 44B to appropriate and transfer from Community Preservation Fund Budget Reserve the sum of $84,000 to fund the preparation of bid-ready construction documents through a formal request for proposals process for the rehab of the Town Hall building on Chestnut Plain Road to serve as a community center for social, recreational, and cultural use. Second. Introduce yourself to the group. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm Alan McArdle. I am the chairman of the Historical Commission. And, okay. Thank you. Um, let me move things down here and get myself organized. This is probably the presentation that should have gone to the Finance Committee. We have, I think, three committees now working together, and it's not entirely clear who's in charge. But we'll try to rectify that to some extent and keep you informed about what we're doing uh, as we move along here. Alan? Yes. All right. We'll move towards this. I'm going to sit down. I'm trying to read, push the button, and talk at the same time. Um, this proposal is it's moving along here, where we don't. It's uh, moving all on its own. Okay. This proposal is the next step in trying to figure out how best to maintain the town hall as a community resource now that the town offices have been moved to the uh, former library building down in S on Sandy Lane. <clears throat> now, based on recommendations that came out of the public forum that the town sponsored by the Mass Office on Public Collaboration and also from a special town meeting in February of last year, the town contracted with w Jones Witsit Architects to produce a feasibility study for reusing the town hall as a community center and as, the, uh, as a museum for the historical society. And they produced that document in June of 2015. And last fall, the historical commission began to work with the, uh, with the municipal building committee to try to figure out the next steps in that process. We can move on. That next step is this current proposal for up to $84,000 in CPA funds with an additional 10,000 from the Friends of Town Hall, which is a private fundraising group, for a total of up to $94,000 to produce the bid-ready documents that we're going to be talking about. Uh, since this will go out for bid, we're hoping that the actual amount might be lower, but I'm not sure I hold out a lot of hope for that, but we'll work on that. Next, please. So we're more or less where this is in the process. Um, over the last few years, the town has paid for Feasibility studies sponsored a variety of public forums, uh, trying to gather information about what people in town really want, surveyed possible users of the modified town hall. And we now have, from the jones Witsit um, document, a preliminary design put together um, with substantial community input from residents, as well as consultation with the Community Preservation Commission, committee rather, the Municipal Building Committee, Historical Society, jones Witsit and others. The, somewhere in your handouts there is a, a sketch of the current um, uh, layouts. Basically on the first floor there's a community meeting room on the left hand side, historical society space on the right, uh, handicapped accessible restrooms in the back, and a small kitchen much like the current building has. Uh, towards the rear there will be a platform lift and some stairs, and on the second floor the auditorium will remain pretty much uh, the same as it is now, except that the upstairs will be entirely handicapped accessible. <coughs> now, to 
go out for bids and begin construction, we really need to have bid-ready documents. In other words, these are documents and analysis and documentation that will give anyone who responds to this RFP a realistic idea of what they're going to be bidding on. We really need to understand what this project is going to cost before we go asking for any more money. And we also need to work with the architects to identify ways of possibly simplifying the work that they're planning, maybe reducing expenses wherever it makes sense. And we also know that many of the potential funding sources that we have outside of CPA um, all require us to have these bid-ready plans in hand. Now, move to the next one. It's um, reasonable to ask why we need yet another set of plans since we already have those left over from the town offices project. But this really is a different project. It's, um, although much can be recycled from the previous plans, uh, there's so much that has changed that it's really not going to be a matter of scotch tape and scissors. Uh, the big addition at the back and the elevator is gone. There's no more dugout foundation. Uh, the whole first floor has to be redesigned, as does the whole heating and uh, ventilation system. There's new building code compliance that has to be dealt with for beginning in this year. So can we move to the next one, please? So what do we get at the end of this? We'll get plans for a building that will last, that will serve the town well for many years to come. We do it by maintaining some of the most important historical elements of the building, and we get a building, or plans for a building at least, that will meet all the current code requirements, will meet state design standards for public buildings, and is fully accessible, to, and on top of that, will be very economical to operate. Next one, please. So who will benefit from this? Basically, we think the whole community is going to benefit from this in many ways. I mean, Town Hall is one of those iconic buildings. It's on our town seal, on the town flag. Restoring it for modern use, maintain some of those connections we have with the past, with the history of the town, and we'll try to build a better sense of community out of this, something that is mentioned repeatedly in the public meetings that we've had. People like this building, they want to keep using it. This is certainly what... Um, Uh, so this is certainly what I've seen in other towns that have done this sort of thing. Uh, there are two or three other towns we've been looking at fairly closely who have done a great deal of work trying to restore their town halls and make them actively used public meeting places, sometimes with historical societies involved as well. And they become actively used places that bring lots of benefits to the town by providing community groups with meeting space, performance space, all kinds of event space and all of the rest. And finally, the Historical Society, that organization that maintains and preserves our town's history and artifacts and makes all of that publicly accessible, should get a dedicated space with full climate control for their collections. So looking ahead to the future, um, once we have these documents, what do we think this will all cost and how is it going to get paid for? That's a daunting number up there, 1.4 million. That's the total cost project could reach, which is an awful lot, but it's not what we expect the town to have to pay directly. All of this project now is eligible for community preservation funding, but we don't intend to get all of that from the CPA. With bid-ready documents in hand, we will be able to apply for a variety of state grants and other kinds of grants. And all of these grants, as I mentioned earlier, have matching fund requirements, and CPA money can be used for that purpose. There is also an active private local fundraising group, the Friends of Town Hall, which has already raised a substantial amount of money dedicated to this project. The, uh, if we decide we need to use it, the project will be eligible for the same subsidized USDA financing that was used for town offices. Uh, the CPC was willing to commit close to this amount of money for the previous project, and we think that they may be willing to do that again. And it's also, since we're trying to rely entirely on CPA for either the base or the, um, the fundraising aspects of this, there will be no effect on tax rates. Last one, please. So I just want to leave you with this last thought from the people who made the construction of the original town hall possible, the 1843 Building Committee. They said, it is expedient that when go in the field. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. And probably none of you. We are being televised. It would be really, uh, if you would all, microphone. Uh, we have a portable one here around with, and there's also one in Torium. We can't hear you. They're working on it. That was better. 
How's that? That's it? But I'm good at that. Everyone is clear that we're going to be using them when you do get the floor to speak so that um, the people in it can, uh, can. Anyway, welcome to the 16. Warren. Franklin S. In warrant, I have notified Speak the inhabitants up. of the town attested copies of the town hall, post office, Dickinson Library, and said please before the date of the meeting. Edwin M. Zinyet posted on April 15th. Thank you. Mr. Moderator, before we begin about this um, individual and then a whole lot of individual reports for people leisure out front. Uh, there was, as some dedicated this year to Bill Smith, when I... When I the bill was retiring it was it was there was report should should get dedicated i'm thrilled to the school board uh, really does owe a, a deep debt of gratitude to bill for all um and so got but bill and ex work that all give to this daily basis um in waitley has been out challenges and the people who work every day they're not working hey and they're not the the most out of a regular basis goes without anyone noticing and sometimes it happens goes and everybody notices. we in this town to have a bunch of uh who to this town and and bill has said a good really like to believe that but employees deserve that same applause <laughs> said um I and vote to accept the aims of the town and to hear any other committees Moved and seconded in session. That being the case, a show of those in favor. Eggs. Motion. Mr. Moderator, I vote to authorize the town select board to borrow money from the of the general, the fiscal year in 2016 in accordance with laws chapter 44, and to renew any note or in period of less than one year provisions of general section 17. Your discussion on article. Favor. The eyes have. Mr. Moderator, vote to authorize the town with the approval of the select board compensating balance with banking institution offices in the Commonwealth in 17, laws chapter 4043F. Three. Motion carried. Go in the field. Um, as I was saying, we are being televised, conducive to good communication. Your phone, uh, when here, it will chase your auditorium. They're working on it. But I'm good at that. Microphone tonight so that um, the people hear you. 2016. Franklin S. Side and warrant attested copies of the same as S. White lease before the date of the meeting. Esky, and it was. Thank you. And I'd like to just about this book for one specific reports for people somewhere. Maybe there was as some prep. Um, the bill is retiring it was just no question who this i'm thrilled to um by this town rid of gratitude to bill for all i appreciate the applause that he and some of our town employees really basis um the one not with the people who and pay and they're not boys and pats on the back on goes without anyone notice wrong uh, and that we town employees to this town and, and example for them I, I employees deserve that same I will stop dribble vote to accept the reports of the boards and is there any discussion that being the case I by waving their little blue test motion I move that the town select board to borrow money from of the revenue of in 2016 in a course section for a period of less than one year no laws chapter 44 two favor have it vote to authorize the town to enter into consent with banking institutions during fiscal year 2000, laws chapter 44. Second. Three. Those in favor? Motion carried. To apply for, accept, on behalf of the town, and borrow in anticipation of re- Seconded. Those in favor? Passed. Authorized revolving fund 44, section 50, beginning July. Discussion. And those opposed? Town vote to fix the salary officers of the town as follows. 17 with a 2%, $20. You want me to read them all? No. They're all listed here. For them to be read? 
discussion or questions? Sure. Department Enterprise Fund fiscal year beginning July. Second. Any discussion? Yes. We have a. Sh Is this on? Okay. Yeah, I got to see the screen. Is that to come along? Back here. Okay. To um, give us um, the trends and we're going from here on. Uh, in this, um, and improving all service. We have a new fire truck. So the guys will be getting around. We have a cultural initial second to none with, you know, a regional ambulance underscore all of this, with all of this. If, for the six year view to 2000, you can see where uh, 2017, if we take a look at the Smith Volk, we don't have any, this, uh, the regional high school, the elementary, it's starting to absorb most of our school and we'll get back town the overall budget 16 fiscal years jumps out i think with every insurance and benefits a lot of these expenses uh we're part of a we have good people we have to provide these this is our tax rate going left to right at 16 valuation okay. 1535 expect that to drop again so it's a very of the tax estimated tax rate for we're still still taxable part value of a single single family about four thousand dollars um so and we're coming down a million and change fossils of land ask last year would have to give you a picture book <coughs> articles nine if you look at 10 through four not affect property with free cash we can have so see a reduced tax rate to uh, wind things up, this is looking in the future, you will. And the charter, frontier, the charter, and not anymore. I look at it, another government. I, it kind of looks like same time. Sure, why? Leave it there. Town. I just want to say that I think it'd be a boon, one of the best that we could get our hands around. And I just see uh, made a decision for the 80 support plants recommend that no one came and got to think about this to vet that process we're in and is going to say yes so we couldn't tell when he was going to be spent and we're also afraid is this that for I think it is but and finally <coughs> and that we need more time to process timeline february bang 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 and the warrant has to be done to try to adequate time, compare it to tax rate, we have to put in all expenses. <coughs> this hit, okay. And I'll read this committee handbook. Elected or appointed finance committee of the annual budget for preparing, submitting, and, and you can read that phrase. Was the need for all, all the, with the select board, and what we found this is that we had about 50 request for uh, for the plans thousand dollars in request so it's a it's a short amount of time is on the finance committee initiative fill them out the right way you do this the right way here it's from the guide to financial the fine that was not vetted by the one citizens at town hall and go through all to do that pretty good one Kennedy, Jim Kirk, and I want to thank these people for um, <clears throat> the Finance Committee. I apologize um, as he began his call. I believe you do. Oh, okay. I move that the town vote 2017 for the operation of the town's department. The necessary and proper expense of an enterprise fund costs are uh, the Finance Committee recommend FY17 finance be raised appropriated department operating purposes. Discussion or please. So I'll ask for a show of hand. $145,000 for the highway department as part of the two improvement plan and the approval of the select board to may be necessary for that purpose. Section 7, non special law for a period not. Second. My questions or discussion? As this requires, ask Mr. Halla and Mr. 
you count yourself? Count us. Yes. Yeah. Voting in favor. 100 passed. I move the town vote to transom of $13,000. Ten to read as follows. Available funds, dollars for paving the highway and for repair. Discussion, questions, you're clear at what uh, the garage building to the... Excuse me. Did you guys explain? For one, it's deteriorating. It's the, the pavement near the last so long before the building. One is already one section where there's crack. They need to be uh, re or re repointed. I doors, it's missing. You're getting, uh, the general upling. It needs to be uh, repainted again. Can you say um, paving the money, but you're asking for a lot? This would be the, the first. Two are going to be done left over from the paving. That's basically the some of that money that's not that is available. Time for things need putting off things and repair too expensive to. Uh, Fred, I, I assume that when we asked for this, is that we knew if there is going to be extra funds if we knew to pave this area I, that needs to be done to have. Thirteen option here is that we cost to do that job and associated with that. No new information has, and I'm going to turn it over to Kia and and has some. To answer your question, a couple of things. Yeah. Yes. Okay. To associate. First of all, piece of it. Also, we have the other is in regards to the. Although, if one come done, then the cost more expensive. Two of them together, then I'm not sure realizer can be done. All our paving on the street. Do that work. For the same price per then the cost would be based on to what I went out to the salt shed 13 as I started shin in now which guarantee that one was gonna so come at the same time that a con everything yes it will not cost the in talking with this was a, the idea thing in this article and not be a good idea to try to usefulness and Anticipate the savings being five hundred dollars. I mean, I, you know, you combine these projects to achieve is. Assuming he's coming back with an answer. Ask a question. Is that we and and I see anything in this exactly accurate about the, the again we have a processes and this is to. It doesn't mean it needs to be spent saving, and then we seem to have no problem scheduling, especially what needs to be done at town meeting as opposed to to numbers in terms of start um alone when what could then add like a special voted to transfer at that um this was just an idea i was approached to ask me um, i do support there that it could go to the highway to some improvements that i couldn't tell you the last time it's in many places <laughs> either way i understand still be accomplished um, per, per, perhaps uh, 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 something being done into the buildings off Plus, well, another year or two, you're not going to do uh, outside. Not critical that it be done. To, it's it's a start, a start, and willing to do some of this to be done on a foundation. If you, next time you go transfers and buy, buy the curating, could last 20 years. Thank you. Question was how much money? The 13 thing in this article is proposing $23,000. Best case scenario, best case scenario, possibly have 5,000. But I'm trying to explain hey, my road paving because I'm putting down thousands. Job is more like just a small parking lot. And that when it comes to that, that and they will be willing, you know, somewhere in the probably in the. Thank you. <laughs> and probably none of you would be really uh, can your phone uh, when around with. And there's also one in. They're working on it. How's that? But I'm good at that. When you do get the floor to speak, it can uh, in 16. Then warrant, I have notified attested copies of the St. Dickinson Library and said Edwin M. Zignet. Thank you. Um, reports for people out front uh, dedicated this year to Bill Smith. It was, they were, I'm thrilled to still he does owe oh, a deep, um, and so, and ex give to this town. Whaley has been the people who they're not working the the most out of goes without anyone noticing and everybody noticing this town to have a bunch of to this town and, and really like to believe that but applause and of the town and to hear any other discussion 
Show of those in favor. Motion. Vote to authorize the town tradition of the general in 2016 in accord and to renew any note or visions of general. The eyes have vote to authorize the town compensating balance offices in the Commonwealth Laws Chapter 44. Motion carried. And expend any federal state of the approval of the select board. Seconded. Later, I move that the town vote to 44, section 51, 2016. Motion. Later, I move that the officers of the town, uh, moderator, 100. You want me to read them all? No. Discussion or questions? Opposed? Department Enterprise Fund Life First 2006. Opposed? We have a. Sh is that? Is that? Now it's getting better. That's good. To um, give a town in the. In 2007, have new town offices. So the guys will be getting around initiative that is, and we also have, as you underscore all of this, so I think if we look here to 2000, in a, from a total budget, and we'll take a closer look, if we take a look at the students there this year, down just a little, the elementary, not starting, has time. Town, which, as you can see, um, what insurance and benefits, it is not a whole, um, if you want to have to provide these. If you look at at 16, okay, uh, but we val and we so it's a very station. Tax facts are uh, we're still still parcels of land. Town has dropped to bottom. So by those 1,000 ask. Whatever articles are on the budget, just your pocket. Articles 9, 13, they're asterisk because they're being paid. We can have. So, to uh, wind things up, this is these Frontier Regional High School um, Frontier School dollars. The more I look at it, idea gone awry. Two schools, all it's your way. Hall restoration. It's um, one of the best if it's done right. We, as you can probably see, made a decision, four thousand and change. The reason we we didn't, no one came. In. We're a town. We have to rent at. So we did not exactly how that money. We're also afraid. Is this we are going to be doling? Out? I don't think. The needed change objective is we process timeline. All of a sudden, this March. All of a sudden, we're all going to work together. Adequate time in other parameter departments. Me like like a brick when I. This is on the Massachusetts Finance elected or appointed Finance Committee. Unless it is expressed, the Finance Committee is responsible. And you can read that. It's daunting because all the budgets with the select board this year take away the, uh, for the plans. It's going on for years. It's a, it's a, and be really, fill them out the right way. And last town officials, if I was to see that, I wouldn't vote for it. Citizens, as stuff, I think we've got to. Kennedy, Jim Kirkin, doing a great job. Um, <clears throat> I apologize for not having introduced. Um, I do. Some moderators in 17 in the payment of debt service. Please note, water department. Uh, the amount shown in the column, can water removed. Department operating purposes. Individual budget submission. The purchase of a dump truck for authorized the treasurer with these as authorized by general or special law for a period not questions or discussion as this requires me please those in already we have two thirds passed for from available funds and lot to the salt shed. I move that the sum of 13000 and for repair. Uh, the. 
For one, it's especially the foundation, the water seeping in, they're only going to building. One is already over the door and replaced. Repointed, I'm getting weather and, and, and also the thing that needs to be uh, uh, paving the more to happen with the saving of the lot would be done. Fewer are going to be done is going to go to repair is to use that is available to be repaired on the bill. It gets too late and it gets. Uh, Fred, I'd, I'd, for the repaving of the, if there is going to be that it was going to take 13 out the building itself uh, to have 13 went out and we got. Um, new information has he's who has a um, couple of things here question to this salt shed was one phase we have the other police station paving also and the other one didn't get more expensive and will get a better price be utilize our paving on the street at the highway department out on the street based on in proposing from the great number however in now which passed and the other one was and also if we can do it every 13,000 at that point. It was in this article and not some money back into the highway life, you know, use. And are we talking about every day? So to achieve is. Ask a question. We have a capital. I don't exactly accurate about the, the that we go through for cap. The better way to do. If there's money left over from the. We, we see what needs to be done to any any line item you're right one of the things that could in that account voted to transfer it out and i was and I, if i would support it the money the money just sitting some improvements they've been painted and yet so it still be accomplished so uh, fred you could uh, yes, i would like to see something into the buildings off first go by you're going to be uh yeah it's it's not it's it's a start i hear you know keith is gate of work to see what needs to next time you go transfer the the pavement they could last a year. They, they when we add in the thing in this article is ten thousand. So that was twenty case scenario. We probably could. I'm trying to explain. That's where I get my time. Compared to this, just a small parking lot. At the point we can have. Thank you. For both, uh, I know we have an article on. May not be a third added. Be directed towards like uh, the highway garage. <laughs> We are being televised. Uh, seek out a mic around with, and there's also one in. That was better. But I'm good at that. Please uh, seek one out. Anyway, welcome. In warrant, I have notified of the town offices town lease before the date of the meeting, 10th, 2016. For one specific leisure, probably know, or most probably know, is. What I found out this report should, should get dedicated um, by this town. Um, and so, example of the hardly basis. Um, and they're not working, boys, and pats on the back on, and sometimes it happens, go. They're very fortunate to this town. And, and I think our town. I will stop dribbles of the town and to hear any other. Article 1 has been. That being the case, I. And opposed. Vote to authorize the town of the Revenue of General Laws, Chapter 44, in accordance with the <clears throat> Those in favor? Mr. Moderator, to enter into offices in the Commonwealth, Section 53. Those opposed? And expend any federal state borrow in anticipation of re- Mr. Moderator, 44, Section 53. And those opposed. Raider, I move that for fiscal year 2017 with a two percent fifty-seven cents. Those in favor? The fiscal year beginning July. Just. This is the moderator. Is that? Is that? Um, let's start um, the trends in this day and age, despite and improving all service lease initiative that is no regional ambulance rate. With uh, the total budget to 2000 perspective as to what's behind that. Smith Volk, we don't have any sound, just a little. Got a little bit of a most of us in a little bit, but as you can see, jumps out. I think with everybody driving 
a operative and uh, have to provide these. Here's right, and you can see it was prior to the reevaluation. There will be another. Re so it's a very reevaluation of 15 taxable pound has dropped to about five million and change. A ton of articles are on the budget book, <coughs> but I want to just say that if taxes, we can have. Okay, um, just this is looking in the future. Frontier Regional High School is losing their shirt, and not enough. Is. We're going to have to pay for two Y. Um, to the town that we could get our hands around, as you can probably see, not to recommend support plans. Is that we're up to vet that process? There's nobody up there. We're also afraid. Is this now cash? But. That's what we thought. And finally, <coughs> the objective is we gets very condensed. The warrant has to be done to make sure that the fair it to tax rate all departments I read this. A board of select of the annual budget, the finance committee is responsible <coughs> was the need for budget and closely this year the request for oh, we had over fifty thousand and when you looked at it, that's been good. So it's a the onus really, if, if everyone could do this the right way here. Town officials. So that was not vetted by the time as the stuff. A pretty good one. Joe Zawinski. Um, <clears throat> properly. Do you have a motion? Oh, okay. Committee for the fiscal year 2000s and the payment of debt service and enterprise fund costs are 17 budget. This committee recommendations with apartment operating purposes. Say it. Is there any discussion? Mr. Moderator, a move of the 2017 capital may be necessary for that purpose. Special law for a period not on Article Nine. Ask Mr. Hallow and Mr. Opposed? Eight yes, no. I move the town vote to transfer and lot to the salt shed. Yes, I like to make an available funds to the salt shed. You're clear what to the town highway garage. For one, it's near the near the columns start falling down. One section where there's crack and replaced. Yes, uh, uh, paint is peeling off the building. Uh, Can you say um, things like this? The same amount of money. The first part, the page two, are going to be done for the building. That's been uh, repair the building. It's it's theirs until it's. <laughs> to repave it, knew that it was going to take 13, that needs to be done. Project, I'm making an assumption there wasn't going to be any slush. New information has, who has been looking at that? To answer your question, yeah. yes. okay. To answer Salt Shed, it was one phase article that, although if one comes, is going to be, a, if we combine it, we'll get a better price. Fertilizer can be done, all contractor is willing to, for the same price per, so in proposing from Shinin now, which then, or vice versa. And also, if we can do it, mobilizes in the town to do 13,000 at that point. It was in this article in the department to it. And are we talking about, you know, you combine these projects, what are you anticipating that's I think so. That's a good question. We have a capital. I don't, again, we have a process. The better way to do, and again, these are appropriating. And then be, that we put some numbers to numbers in terms of do everything that needs to be done, but it's whatever money is left voted to transfer it out. And I was and I, the aspect of rather than some improvements, to, yes, the paint is peeling. Different ways to look. Uh, perhaps yes, I would like to see something. Well, let's wait next year. Let's get it back and do uh, outside available. And I and I think I hear you know Keith is to be done on a foundation. And look at the foundation. I mean, it it could. The question thousand dollars that the is proposing real we probably could but there that comes in to do mines of tons at that point and, and do your parking up that when it comes to that to do that which then i would have mr moderator a possible wording uh, um, unfortunately uh, before the okay so leftover maybe police department oh, clearly the intent that's the int highway department a disservice special town meeting we can the building needs work it's the town the 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 because keith's crew does discussion of the department's lot to the salt was opposed right free cash 
Second. Motion is carried. Ten thousand dollars to complete re walkway areas surrounding the Article Twelve. From available fund nine cruiser questions proposed transfer from available in gutters and in all those in favor motion is carried sum of three thousand dollars to part motion the sum of six thousand um, towns that were second is for this project uh, so better protect kids as. All motion is approved. Town vote to transfer to complete the questions or discuss. Mr. Moderator, we cash the sum of five. Where's the rest of the money? We put five thousand. Any discussion? And a transfer from water waterproofing to water. Opposed. After 44B evasion budget recommended by the CP and projects and other including debt service considered a separate of $7,500 estimated revenues for community housing reserve estimated revenues for second, second. the town vote pursuant to general open space reserve is a town's match for a permit located on the west side of 6 as lot 24 upon such terms Those opposed? With the general law, chapter four, budget reserve, preservation and repairs in the 2013 mass direction of the cemetery commission. Discussion? Opposed? Move the town vote pursuant to budget reserve amendments through a form Chestnut Plain Road to the center for assault. Introduce yourself to the group commission and myself organized. Committees now working, you informed about what we're doing. All right. Um, all on its own. How best to maintain the former library building down in town, sponsored connected with Jones Witsit Art. And as the uh, as, and last fall, the, we try to figure out the next steps in funds with an four thousand dollars to produce, the, hoping that the actual amount might be. Used. So we're, for the last few years, the town are trying to gather information about, and we now put together Community Preservation Commission and others. Um, uh, Layside historical uh, towards the rear. There will be a pretty much. Uh, now, ready documents. In other words, this RFP, a realistic idea. We really need to, and we also need to work with these wherever it makes sense. Um, all we need yet another set of plans, since it's um, really a matter of scotch tape and scissors. Foundation, um, there's new build many years to come. Or plans for a building, at least, and is fully accessible. I mean, Town Hall is one of those, maintains some of those kind of things mentioned repeatedly in the past. Certainly what, um, uh, there are two or three other towns where we've actively used places that bring lots of benefits, event space and all of the rest. Should get a dedicated space. What are 